Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you what I think is probably the fastest and easiest way to add a contact form to your website. Um, we're going to be using an API from this website here, formsubmit.co. Um, just to let you know I'm not affiliated in any way with Form Submit. I just think it's a very uh, good service and I just thought I'd like to share it with you. So in the Form Submit, uh, website here if you click on the demo here it'll show you a quick demo so this is the a basic form uh, styled with bootstrap um, so I want to copy in what they have here and we we'll go back to our code and inside in our main.js I'm just going to paste in the code and we have two errors here because we're in react so we need to close the inputs so we just do a forward slash on both of them press save i have the app running already so if we go to our farm we have a farm here but it's not styled yet we need to put in the bootstrap link into the head of our index.js file so i'm just going to copy this copy this link and if you want to follow along I'll leave the link to the github repository in the description and you can copy the link from the github repository so if I go back to our app in the public folder we go to the index.html just above the title tag then I'm just going to paste in that link we'll press save on that and go back and check has it been applied okay so now our form is um all styled with bootstrap so we'll go back and show you how to set up the form and how to get um get the mails okay so we go back to app.js we can see our form here and in the main form it's doing a post method and it's going to the the back end api for the form submit.co so you need to put in your email here that you want um, the form to send the mails to so I, i'm just going to use this temp mail service here just get a temporary email so i'm just going to copy this mail here going back into our code and right here where it says your email.com we're going to paste in that there now we're going to save that back to our form then just put in our name and we'll make up a, a test email and we'll just type in a message here And when we print the submit form, the first thing you have to do is activate the, the email address. So if you go to your own email and form submit will be after sending you an email that you need to activate the form on that, on that um, website. So this just says, thanks, uh, easy form endpoints thanks for using form submit and we just need to activate the form click on that link there now the form is activated now so after we have activated the for the website with uh, form submit if we go back in and we press the submit form again now it brings us to just verify that we're not a robot and we press ok and now the form was su submitted successfully please return to the original site so there we go and if we go to our email if we go to our email we should have an email from our form submit okay so we have an email here if we press that now you can see um, farm submit uh, a new submission from localhost 3000 but that would be our website when you set it all up so we can see the name we can see the email that was entered and we can see the message that was input as well. And when we go into the documentation, you can see they have all other um, options 
that we can add in. You can disable the re-catch. Um, you can have auto responses. So you just put in another input. The input will be hidden. Um, the name is slash auto response. So the API knows. And you can send a custom message. Um, you can select templates. So these are different templates you can use. So we just put in the input type again and just put in the type, the template you want. Okay, so that's how quick and easy it is to add a form submit to your website using the form submit API. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next.